Hello, and welcome to Mr. Henry's Music World. Today, we are going to learn about composers. There are tons of composers, but we will look at three big composers today. Then, you get to compose your own music. First, let's learn about these three composers, Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. Roll it! Composers. The definition of a composer is a person who writes music. There are tons of famous composers, but before we look at some of these great composers, let's take a look at the history of how composing music all started. The first signs of music notes, which were written on stone, were found around the year 2000 BC. That's over 4,000 years ago! Wow! As time went, there were different ways of writing music notes. But during the Renaissance period in Europe, the 14th to 17th century, modern music writing was starting to develop. After the Renaissance period, we have the Baroque period, which was 1600 to 1750. During this time, the famous composer Johann Sebastian Bach wrote tons of music. Here is an original piece of music handwritten by Bach. Pretty cool! Some of Bach's works include two-part inventions, which were originally for the harpsichord, but now we play them on the piano. This famous piece by Bach called Toccata is for the large instrument usually found in a church called the organ. In 1750 to 1820, called the Classical Period, we meet other great composers like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Ludwig von Beethoven. Ooh. Beethoven the dog? No, 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 not Beethoven the dog. Beethoven the composer. Oops. So, yes, Beethoven the composer. He wrote many wonderful pieces, including his Fifth Symphony, and Ode to Joy. When Beethoven would sit down to write music, he was known for coming up with ideas, then scratching them out, and rewriting the music, coming up with many revisions of his work. Later in Beethoven's life, he became deaf, meaning that he could no longer hear anything, which was very frustrating for him since now he couldn't even hear the music that he had been writing. He would hear the music in his head and write it down for other people to perform and listen to. Another brilliant composer in the classical period was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart was a child prodigy, which meant that he was really, really, really good musician at an early age. He was writing music at the age of five. Mozart wrote a variety of compositions, including operas, symphonies, which are performed by an orchestra, piano concertos, which is when you have a piano and orchestra playing together. His most famous piece of music is called Eine kleine Nacht music, which means a little night music. Let's review. A composer is someone who writes music. There are many composers we'll learn about, but some of our most famous composers include Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. It's now your turn to be a composer. Sweet! Now it's time for you to be a composer. Grab a piece of paper and pencil. To the piano! Here we are in the Rhythm Bakery, and we are going to create our own rhythm. So far, we have learned the quarter note, the half note, 
the whole note, paired eighth notes, and the quarter rest. For my first line, I will choose, let's see, how about a quarter note? Remember, the quarter note only gets one plate. So we are good to go. And next, let's go with a half note. Now, when I draw the half note, I have to make sure that I give the half note this plate and this plate, because the half note gets two beats. And let's see, next, I only have one plate left in this line, so how about a quarter rest? Cool. So my first line, I have ta, ta, sh. Let's clap and say that rhythm together. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, sh. Awesome. Okay, eh, let's see here. I'm gonna go with, for line two, let's go with the whole note. Awesome. And maybe I put a uh, quarter rest at the end. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh wait. Oh, no, I can't. I can't do that. Why can't I do that, you may say? Well, remember, the whole note gets all four plates. So I can't put a quarter rest on this plate here because uh, that would only give the whole note one, two, three plates. Okay, so we have to make sure that we give all four plates to the whole note because the whole note gets four beats. Cool, let's move to the next line. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with, let's go with some paired eighth notes. Remember the paired eighth notes, they only get one plate. And when we see them, we clap and say, T, T. Okay? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, let's do some more paired eighth notes. Oh, I like those paired eighth notes. There we go. So we have T, 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 T. How about a quarter note? And maybe another half note here? Can I put a half note there? Nah, I can't because uh, the half note gets two plates and I only have one plate left over. I don't want to use one of the plates here. So let's say I did put a half note there. And I said, eh, I'm gonna use this plate and this plate for the half note. I don't want you to do that. Since we ran out of plates of this line, we'll say that we can only put a note that gets one beat or needs one plate on this last plate of line three. So I really only have two options. I can do a quarter note or a quarter rest. How about I just fill this note head in to make a quarter note? Perfect. So this line sounds like this. T, 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 ta, ta. Let's clap and do that one together. Here we go. T, 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 ta, ta. Awesome. Let's go to the fourth line. Hmm, let's see here. How about quarter rest? And maybe another half note. The half note gets two plates. And maybe I end with a quarter note. Cool. So, I have used a variety of music notes in my rhythm creation. I kind of like to think of it as, you know, when you go to a bakery. A bakery just doesn't have bread. It has all kinds of delicious things. Bread, donuts, cookies, more donuts. I love donuts. So when you're creating your rhythms, I want you to mix it up a little bit. I don't want you to just write the same thing over and over and over again. That would be boring. That'd be like having bread in the bakery and that was it. So we want to have a variety of music notes 
just like a bakery has a variety of baked goods. All right, great. We didn't clap our fourth line yet, so let's do that, and then we'll try the whole thing. So we start with a quarter rest, which we will uh, say shh. Okay, let's do it. One, two, here we go. Shh, ta, ta. Awesome, try that with me. Ready, go. Shh, ta, ta. Fantastic. All right, we have our whole rhythm created. Let's try the whole thing all the way through. We're going to clap and say our ta's, tt's, ta, a, and sh. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, sh, ta, a. T, 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 ta, ta, sh, ta, ta. How'd you do? You can always go back and try it again. But that was good work. Okay, here's the next step to our process. I have all of my rhythms created, but now I'm going to assign a number to each note, and each number represents a finger that I'm going to perform. Now, we've been working with the sets of threes, fingers two, three, and four. So those are the numbers that we're going to choose from, either finger two, three, or four. And you can put whichever number you wish underneath your music notes. So I might start with finger two, which is do. And let's say I'll go finger four for the half note. So we have two, four. Do I need a number for the rest? The answer is no. We don't need a number for the rest because remember, when we see the rest, we don't perform a key on the piano. So we don't need any finger number for our rests. Okay, so I have two, four, shh. And let's see, how about for the uh, whole note? Let's do finger three. And three, we're gonna hold that out for four beats. And for my uh, paired eighth notes, how about finger four and finger four, and then finger three and then finger three. Then how about we do back to finger four and then to two. We'll see how that sounds. Here comes another quarter rest. Do I need a number for this one? Nope. So we'll put an X there. Awesome. Let's go to this next half note. Oh, I don't know. How about finger three? Love it. Now, um, you know, I started with finger two, and I really like starting with finger two with do. I always like starting with do, and um, I like to think of do as kind of like a house. Oh, let's put a little, there we go. I always like to think of Do as kind of like your house or your home. In the morning when you wake up, usually you're, you start at home or you start at Do. And you may go out about and you go to school, maybe you go to dance class afterwards or karate class or yeah, maybe even you take piano lessons. Hmm. But uh, when you get back, where do you always end up? You always end up back home. And music is really, really similar. So, since we started at home with Do, I would like to end at home with Do. And that means I'm going to use finger two. Here is the composition I created, but I cleaned it up a bit. I also added in the solfege syllables as we are going to sing and play through the composition. Notice that all of the stems are pointed up. Which hand do we use since all of the stems are up? Yup, that 
That's correct, the right hand. We are still performing the set of three black keys with finger two, three, and four. We're gonna go through this line by line, so let's take a look at the first line. On the first line, we start with do, which is do, finger two. Then we go to me, me. So if we were to sing this, it would sound do, me. And then of course we have our quarter rest. And when we see the quarter rest, we'll just say shh, because when we see a rest, we have to be quiet. So the first line goes like this. Do, me, shh. And make sure you hold that half note for two beats. Let's sing the finger numbers. So it would go two, four, shh. Let's sing that together. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, shh. Awesome, let's play it now. So we're gonna start with finger two, then we go to four, and then we take our rest. Let's try it together. Get your set of three ready on the black keys. One, two, here we go. Do, mi, sh. Awesome. Let's go to the second line. The second line has the whole note which gets all four plates. And on the whole note, I wrote in finger three, which is re. So we're gonna hold re, re, for four beats. Let's try that together. Get your finger three ready. We'll sing and play re. Here we go. Re. Perfect. Should we try line one and line two together? Let's do it. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with Do, which remember we said was our home tone. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Do, Mi, Sh, Re. Yep, let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. Do, mi, sh, re. Awesome. Okay, let's go to line three. This line is a little bit tougher. And the biggest reason is because of our paired eighth notes. So our rhythm here is t t t t ta ta and I wrote in four, four, three, three, four, two, which is me, me, re, re, me, do. Can we sing that first? Listen again. Me, me, re, re, me, do. Sing that with me. One, two, ready, go. Mi, mi, re, re, mi, do. Good, now let's sing the finger numbers. It would go four, four, three, three, four, two. Sing that with me. Here we go. Four, four, three, three, four, two. All right, get your hand ready. Let's try and play this. So we're gonna start with finger four, which is the ring finger. Here we go, let's sing and play. One, two, ready, go. Four, four, three, three, four, two. Try that again, ready, go. Mi, mi, re, re, mi, do. Awesome. All right, let's go to the last line. The last line starts with the chord of rest, so we have to make sure that we say shh on that plate. So we have the chord to rest. We'll say shh 
Then we have finger three, re, and that's a half note, so we hold it for two beats. Re, and then we end with the home tone, which is do. Let's try this line together. It would go sh, re, do. Try that. One, two, ready, and sh, re, do. Awesome. Let's try and play it. So get your set of three ready. We rest on the first plate. Then we play finger three, three, and then two. Let's do it. One, two, here we go. Sh, three, two. All right, let's try and play this whole piece of music. You guys ready? Yay! Let's do it. Here we go. From the very beginning. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, sh, three. Four, four, three, three, four, two, sh, three, two. Awesome. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to sing the solfege syllables as I play. One, two, ready, go. Do, mi, sh, re, mi, mi, re, re, mi, do, sh. Re, do. Awesome. We're now going to try this with the backtrack. Roll it. Awesome. Hopefully you were able to come up with a cool composition. If looking to learn the piano, check out the lesson videos right over here. These lessons give a step-by-step -step process to learning the piano as a beginner. So get close to your piano or keyboard and follow along with the video lessons. Play, sing, and have some fun. If you have a question or comment, just leave it in the comment section below. Please subscribe as more videos will be posted to help you in your music journey. And ring a ling a ding dong that bell so you know when the next video is out. Thank you so much. I'm Mr. Henry. Keep on practicing. And I'll see you in the next lesson.